Welcome to the driver's seat. Everyone knows the F-150 is not only Ford's best-selling vehicle, but it's the best-selling vehicle in America. But the second best-selling Ford is the Escape. And now we have the fourth generation Escape for the 2020 model year. As you can see, completely redesigned inside and out. Uh, very stylish, very European looking. And this is an important segment. You know, RAV4 and CRV, they're in the 400,000 range. This sold almost 300,000 last year. I expect it to get to that 400 range in no time. Under the hood of the all new 2020 Escape are several powertrain options. The base engine is gonna be a 1.5 liter three cylinder EcoBoost engine. And then there'll be an upgraded engine, a two liter EcoBoost four cylinder producing 250 horsepower. A lot of power for a small vehicle like this. You also have a hybrid option and a plug-in hybrid with over 30 miles of pure electric range. Front wheel drive is standard. All wheel drive is optional for an extra $1,500. And uh, there's a new transmission in eight speed in the uh, gasoline models and a CBT and the hybrid and plug-in models. As you can see, power lift gate is available on some trim levels with the, uh, with the all new Escape. And uh, that's an important feature. And they were one of the first to have the hands-free where you, know, you wave your, your foot down if you got grocery bags in your hand uh, you can you can access the the cargo area now uh, back here you have with the seats down 37 and a half cubic feet that's not the most in the segment but that's very respectable as you can see plenty of room but the real news is the second row so it has class leading second row leg room and we're told it has more leg room than a Chevy Suburban in the second row. So very impressive, a very important area for, for passengers, uh, kids, older, older passengers as well. So you have sliding second row seats, uh, some really nice features on the all new Escape. The interior of the Escape is very impressive. This is the titanium model, which is the Mac Daddy. And you have a 12.3 inch optional full digital display. Uh, the rest of the models will have traditional gauges with a seven inch multi-information display. You also have an eight inch infotainment screen. As you know, this is very critical. It's got Apple CarPlay, Waze, Android Auto, you name it, everything. And overall, just really like the packaging. You know, they've gone to uh, this new shifter, which I like, it doesn't take up a lot of space and plenty of room here for your phone, your keys, cup holders, etc. So uh, really looking forward to spending some time behind the on the wheel of the all-new Escape. Ford will be entering the 2020 model year with a strong lineup of five crossovers and SUVs, starting with the EcoSport, and you have the Escape, Edge, Explorer, and the Expedition. Uh, Ford is clearly into the light truck game. They have the trucks, and then they have the crossovers and the SUVs, and they're kind of getting away from sedans. This is the new sedan, and this is probably going to be it already is the second best selling, but I think it's even going to move further up the segment. So we're very excited to drive it. We don't have pricing yet, but everything we've seen so far, especially with the powertrain options, uh, is going to allow Escape to kind of separate itself from the pack. I'm Ron Doran. Thanks for watching. See you next time on the driver's seat.